Greeting YouTube and welcome to Ghost Gaming 83. I'll be your host for today. Anyways, uh, I want to talk to you about server uh, toxic toxicity in a server. If you are playing on a server that has two big alliance and one big alliance is picking on another big alliance, for example, we have here, I am in WOT. We are currently um, doing SVS right now, but let's uh, go into our enemy zone. On this server, let me go into ranking, alliance power. As you can see, we have two top alliance. One is at 41 billion power. The other one is 13 billion power. Uh, RFS, of course, is the strongest alliance on server 223 at the moment. But what they don't understand is that there are a couple level 36, level 37, or perhaps level 38 uh, who is quite, quite strong. Um, who has a strong account uh, as I could say it but these players what they do is that they like to tile hit they like to uh, burn Alliance City down and all the stuff like that and for for those of you that are new uh, to the game are I would consider uh, new players who encounter these sort of stuff on your city it's better to protect yourself I know even though you're you're in an alliance that is 5 billion power or 9 billion power of course your alliance will not stand um, a 41 billion power uh, alliance so here are some tips that I will show you okay uh, to stay alive despite how big your alliance is or how strong it is these are the tips that will eventually help you um, to sustain or to stay uh, survive from all these uh, you know chaos from happening in a toxic server so let's dive into what we're going to talk about today and let's see what we can strive to make a toxic server as a benefit of our own Let's go into my keep. So the first thing that I want you all to know, okay, especially those of you that are new, that are K25, K26, or even a level 5 castle, you always want, okay, you always want to level up all of your in-keep production to its max level. Meaning that if you're level 10 keep, you want to level all your uh, production to level 10, okay? For example, I would recommend about 9 ores, um, 9 stones, 9 woods, and of course, uh, 4 uh, farms, or 5 farms, and two, uh, 2 army camp. 2 army camp is all you need because once you get to level 35, what happens is that there are... Uh, there are research that you can do. Let's go into research and go to military advance. And basically, if you scroll on the bottom, there are research you can do to boost your training capacity uh, to its max. Right now, I am training uh, at... Let's see if I can speed this. Okay, right now, for my regular training, I'm only training about 15... Uh, 15,000 well 15,000 is a lot some of you might say that but 15,000 is not a lot because due to all the research that I've done in the Academy 15,000 is a minimum now well I got 15,000 there because of the research and so my training capacity is not 15,000 it is only 5,000 if I don't do the research since I've done majority of the research to increase my training capacity just like for example uh, 
conscription 20 and another one and of course you know uh, I'm almost done with the, uh, my training for uh, per percentage and you know numbers but in your advanced military or military events there they would give you options to increase your training capacity to even higher that's that's how I could um, train a large amount of oh man what happened here a large amount of uh, troops but but another way is that if you let's go here if you put a general your highest general into your um, whatever camp or barracks or workshop or stable if you put that general as a duty and you put another general into your keep as a duty like right now I have Chung Hung Dao which gives me a 30% training capacity these two duties uh, two generals that are on duty will maximize your training uh, for example earlier you saw my training troop of uh, 15 15,000 now I could train as 21,000 okay so you don't need to have a lot of army camps all you need is just one or two in the beginning what happened is that you're not going to train so much okay you're only going to focus on growing your keep um, as a production wise because not a lot of server are peaceful server yeah i play i play it on server 54 uh i play with guys that are like uh, vlex guys that are join or die guys like smoke them grim and all the stuff like that those guys in the beginning you know they uh we have some confrontation but uh you know i've, I've been playing ebony for six years and every server has a conflict not just only on server 223 which i am on right now but to be able to avoid those conflict and to still grow at the same time it's very difficult because you have a lot of things that you need to focus on for example you need to keep yourself bubble or shield 24 7 you know seven days a week seven days a week uh if you drop your bubble on a server that is toxic what's gonna happen well you're gonna get hit all your troops will die uh, all your resource is stolen will get stolen and you know the potential growth of your castle will delay over time so what you want to do is keep on um, upgrading your in keep production so it will help you uh, produce resources during a chaotic time uh, at least you're not going to be able to go out and farm your tiles or perhaps your alliance building uh, is already destroyed or kept on getting destroyed by an enemy on the server you're not going to be able to farm uh, your resource within uh, the alliance or alliance resource so the only way for you to get resource to grow is through your in keep and you got to bubble it so there's another way okay what you want to do is you also in your academy you want to research in your uh, alliance if you still have an alliance farm or your server um, you know enemy alliance won't attack your alliance building and destroy it at least you have your alliance farm so you want to upgrade within your lines all the alliance uh, gathering so you have gathering speed so you won't be able uh, you know to to have a lack of uh, resource uh, as we speak and there are other things too beside research um, in your academy you want to have um, subsidies that are either in keep productions increase your in keep productions or in keep, increase your gathering speed um, to help you gather as much or receive as much resource as you can during a critical time if you cannot farm 
on the tile at least like i said at least have a substantial uh resource income from your your inkeep let's go to my inkeep detail for production right now i am at 2.6 million for lumbered uh production an hour 1.1 million an hour 2.3 million an hour 1.7 for food an hour now food i don't really mind because my troops gonna you know consume it but i have i hardly upgrade my warehouse because i already have uh food protected from troop at around 160 million and if my alliance is alliance building is not destroyed i still have the warehouse i move all my food into my warehouse at least i'll have 300 million food stored in there okay um i also you don't want to open up all your resources because you know once you get hit it's gone i don't have much of food because i would spent it um upgrading my buildings even though i'm at k35 right now uh ebony just got tougher and tougher to really you know upgrade uh keep to level 36 if you're not spending i spent before uh before the whole upgrade uh to level uh, 40 i spent a lot you know in the past years but i stopped spending on ebony because there there are a lot of things that you don't want to do i know a lot of players want to jump into ebony create a new account on a, on a new server and start spending thousands and thousands of dollars to have that head starts before everybody else but it's not a way to be you know for free to play player i know that it's going to be struggle but if you have a good alliance um, running rallies for boss getting materials getting resource getting speed ups and getting gyms getting um ma yeah uh, equipment materials those are critical so if you have a good strong alliance that would help you your growth your potential growth would not be a problem at all and that's basically it right now so like i was saying we are in svs right now server versus fervor and we just rebuilt our hive um when svs is gone i know about if i would have guessed 80 percent of the a chance that our hive will get destroyed again and i have enough bubble let's go to my inventory i have about 419 three days bubble 419 three days that's that's over like three years of bubbles another 109 uh of the 24 hours bubble that's 109 days and of course some other bubbles too so i have i have plenty of bubble um ever since i start playing ebony what i want to do is hoard those shield so every day i would buy three days three days three days i noticed that the 24 hour bubble it's not sufficient for me if i would participate in svs and go to another kingdom i would use i would buy up an eight hours i would not buy 24 hours because i constantly break my bubble to attack or i constantly shield after attack or things like that so the 24 hours is a waste for me that's what i think so that's it guys remember to maintain your in keep production uh try to obtain uh china sub-zero uh, not sub-zero china sub-cities or korea sub-cities if you can't get a, a purple or um gold blue is fine too so with the subsidy let's go to it uh the gold one it will give you a buff of feudal law maintain city resource production uh, i mean main city resource production at 20 percent it buffs 20 percent towards your production speed that's why i have 2.6 million wood an hour is due to my sub city which is a gold sub city and it gets buffs so i have roughly about uh one gold two gold three gold 
four gold china, one purple china, and Korea. It gives me main city warehouse capacity thirty percent added. 30% to your warehouse to protect your food or to store your food and also it will give you uh, general benefits such as extra resource from gathering if you gather from uh, lines farm it will give you extra 15% uh, of the gathering speed uh, what does China have let me see for a second one uh, recruitment law training speed 10% to your um, barrack training uh, archer training stable training workshop training all the stuff like that you know it will apply those percentage to your training speed so you would train uh, at a faster speed to me in the game you know even ha even though you have all these buff the training speed still takes days you know it, it's not really fast enough but without those buff if you take all those buff out you would double the days that you're gonna train for example instead of four days you're training about 10 days you know and 10 day is a, a long time to wait for so you know if, if you don't have gold blue is good purple is good if you don't have purple blue is good also you know as long as you have some sort of uh, subsidy it will not give you much as a gold buff but it will give you a, a some sort of buff you know like five percent buff eight percent buff those are pretty good too you know don't miss out on those and um, to survive in a toxic uh, server like I said you always want to maintain your bubble when your bubble drop you're dead when your bubble drop someone will hit your castle wiped out all your troops okay take all your resource you're gonna spend resource healing your troops spend resource upgrading your your castle it's a it's a waste of time you know and especially before what happened is that when siege unit when they get wound you don't use gems to heal it you use resource but now since Ebony nerfed that option now you're using gyms to basically uh, repair your siege machine and if you have 20,000 30,000 siege machine wound what happened a lot of gyms will be wasted when you can use those gyms to uh, um, upgrade your building or speed up your building even further so that's it about toxic environment and how to survive a toxic server if you guys have any questions uh, regarding your server being toxic and how uh, I can help your server or help you uh, from getting or maintaining your city while those toxicity still there, please leave a comment. I will reply to your comment as always, but leave a comment. For those of you that new are, are new to the channel, please smash that like button. You know It will help the channel out. And for those of you that are uh, returning viewers i i welcome you to the channel i hope you like this video uh, if you need some more information you can always leave a comment below to contact me and of course you can ask or if you want to uh, invite me as a friend in the game leave a comment below i will not approve it but uh you know so your your username and stuff is uh confidential but that's it guys happy happy days have a happy days and of course happy gaming and i'll see you next time on ghost gaming 83 later peace